So here we have the Vauxhall Corsa three door on an 18 plate. I'm gonna start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's got alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the boot, you can see that we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's what we've seen in the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard. So let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle, you can see the total miles for the car, which are 4,744. Above that, we have a digital readout for the speedometer. You can change the information that's displayed there using controls on the indicator stalk uh, for various bits of trip computer information, eventually back round to the beginning again. And above that, we have the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauges. If we back out to the steering wheel, the buttons uh, on the left-hand side are for cruise control and speed limiter. And on the right-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls. The phone controls can only be used after such time as you paired your phone up, which is done on the touch screen in the center here. So you hit the phone icon, and then search device and follow the instructions on screen. When it comes to music in this car, we have AM, FM and DAB radio, USB input and Bluetooth audio as well. So once you pair your phone, not only can you make and receive phone calls, you'll also be able to stream your music wirelessly. Uh, you can go back to the home screen um, at any point you want by pressing the home button just there. There are certain voxel friendly apps that can be projected up onto this screen uh, by plugging your phone in via its USB cable as well, should you wish to. To the left hand side, this button turns off the parking sensors. This will turn on the city steering, so it makes the power steering lighter. This will turn on the heated steering wheel and that turns on the heated passenger seat. You can turn on the heated driver seat from here and then back off again. Underneath that, we have the air conditioning. So you can determine the temperature fan speed and direction of the air. The air conditioning is on when this light shows. So off, back on again. You can recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperature you set on this dial here. And then we have a rear heated screen as well. Underneath that, we have a USB input and a 12 volt charging socket. This section is flexible so that you can divide up areas for cup holders, etc. We then have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. The button on the top will enable you to change up and down a gear manually should you wish to. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.